How precious is the Book of Mormon to you? If you were offered diamonds or rubies or the Book of Mormon, which would you choose? Honestly, which is of greater worth to you? Something powerful happens when a child of God seeks to know more about Him and His beloved Son. Nowhere are those truths taught more clearly and powerfully than in the Book of Mormon. First, what would your life be like without the Book of Mormon? Second, what would you not know? And third, what would you not have? Immersing ourselves regularly in the truths of the Book of Mormon can be a life-changing experience. My dear brothers and sisters, I testify that the Book of Mormon is truly the Word of God. It contains the answers to life's most compelling questions. It teaches the doctrine of Christ. It expands and clarifies many of the plain and precious truths that were lost through centuries of time and numerous translations of the Bible. The Book of Mormon provides the fullest and most authoritative understanding of the Atonement of Jesus Christ to be found anywhere. When I think of the Book of Mormon, I think of the word power. The truths of the Book of Mormon have the power to heal, comfort, restore, succor, strengthen, console, and cheer our souls. My dear brothers and sisters, I promise that as you prayerfully study the Book of Mormon every day, you will make better decisions every day. I promise that as you ponder what you study, the windows of heaven will open and you will receive answers to your own questions and direction for your own life. I promise that as you daily immerse yourself in the Book of Mormon, you can be immunized against the evils of the day, even the gripping plague of pornography and other mind-numbing addictions. But why is the Book of Mormon so essential if we already have the Bible to teach us about Jesus Christ? Have you ever wondered why there are so many Christian churches in the world today when they obtain their doctrines from essentially the same Bible? It is because they interpret the Bible differently. If they interpreted it the same, they would be the same church. This is not a condition the Lord desires. For the Apostle Paul declared that there is one Lord, one faith, one baptism. To help bring this oneness about, the Lord established a divine law of witnesses. Paul taught in the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. The Bible is one witness of Jesus Christ. The Book of Mormon is another. Why is this second witness so crucial? The following illustration may help. How many straight lines can you draw through a single point on a piece of paper? The answer is infinite. For a moment, suppose that single point represents the Bible, and that hundreds of those straight lines drawn through that point represent different interpretations of the Bible, and that each of those interpretations represents a different church. What happens, however, if on that piece of paper there is a second point representing the Book of Mormon? How many straight lines could you draw between these two reference points, the Bible and the Book of Mormon? Only one. Only one interpretation of Christ's doctrine survives the testimony of these two witnesses. The Book of Mormon teaches us truth and bears testimony of Christ. But there is something more. There is a power in the book which will begin to flow into your lives the moment you begin a serious study of the book. You will find greater power to resist temptation. You'll find the power to stay on the straight and narrow path. In order to help the Book of Mormon become the keystone of your testimony, I offer you a challenge. I recently learned that many young people spend an average of seven hours a day 
looking at TV, computer, and smartphone screens. With this in mind, would you make a small change? Will you replace some of that daily screen time, particularly that devoted to social media, the internet, gaming, or television, with reading the Book of Mormon? If the studies I referred to are accurate, you could easily find time for daily study of the Book of Mormon, even if for only 10 minutes a day. And you can study it in a way that allows you to enjoy it and understand it, either on your device or in book form. President Russell M. Nelson recently cautioned, we should never make reading the Book of Mormon seem like an onerous duty, like the gulping of nasty medicine to be swallowed quickly and then checked off with finality. I close by reading this invitation and promise and adding my testimony. And when ye shall receive these things, the Book of Mormon, I would exhort you that you would ask God the Eternal Father in the name of Jesus Christ if these things are not true. And if ye ask with a sincere heart, with real intent, Having faith in Christ, he will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost.